explain to me why you failed to mention that you not only escaped from prison, but you were also recorded doing so? You said to my face that you never turn into the abomination anymore. No, I said I choose not to. Uh, you know, these were extenuating circumstances. You understand that this constitutes another crime and totally destroys your chances at parole? Well, yeah, no, what? I was forced to leave my cell. How? I retain Sorcerer Supreme of the Mystic Arts, and his name is Wong. Just Wong, and his internet presence is a little chaotic. He's either a sorcerer who lives in New York or a librarian who lives in Nepal. Can you get to him? Wong. Yes, Jack, it's me. Of course, I can get to him. I sent a thirst trap. Why would Wong? Picture of me with a bunch of books. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why would Wong? Why? That makes no sense. Let's find out. Uh, I just want to make sure that you don't think this is one of those cameo every week type of shows. That's not. Well, except Bruce. And Blonsky. And Wong. Just remember whose show this actually is. Trust me. You won't make us forget. I have no problem with female heroes. I'm just saying, make your own. I don't know about y'all, but I'd smash. On the line, the original prosecutor. I am incredibly upset. For what? <clears throat> wow. Dennis. No, what? Not Jen Walters. Ms. Walters is head of the Superhuman Law Division. Mm -mm. We have too much history for me to be comfortable with her on the case. I'd uh, love to know what this is about. Well, to be fair, I thought I was dating Megan the Stallion. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> sorry, what? you thought you were dating Megan the Stallion? A multiple Grammy Award winner, megastar Megan the Stallion? <laughs> what part of Shapeshifter did you not get? <laughs> Everything Mr. Blonsky told you is factual. I extracted him from the prison uh, against his own wishes because I required a worthy opponent as part of my training to become Sorcerer Supreme. And as Sorcerer Supreme, I insist that he not be punished for my actions. Uh, again, I am not the one who will be punishing him. The parole board will not release him after seeing this video. Oh, I know what you're thinking, Ms. Walters. I'm not erasing everyone's memories, not again. That is not what I was thinking. It's highly unethical. Yeah, it's also very messy, believe me. Okay. We'll send him to the mirror dimension. I don't know what that is, but no. Shadow dimension? <laughs> what you can do to help <laughs> is show up the hearing. Uh, how much money in cash and gifts did you spend on the Megan the Stallion imposter? Bro, can we oh, stop? Man. <laughs> Ugh. How about I just say a number and you tell me higher or lower? Okay, uh, considering that you bought her a mid-sized sedan, how about 50,000? 100? 200? 200,000? I am not a fool. No, it's more like 175. $175,000. That's a whole house in parts of the country, Mr. Bukowski. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> COVID times, man. COVID times. <laughs> oh! I got a change of heart. I'm gonna drop the case. Wait, wait, wait. just now? You so just... The truth is, I think somewhere deep inside, I knew, you know? Hello? You there? <laughs> and your jaw's on the floor because I drive a cyber truck. Security! I love harassing women in the workplace. It's my kick, baby. Not cool. Let that be a warning. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Uh, are those your soulmates? Oh, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. As Mr. Blonsky's counsel, I would love to address the alleged prison escape. We do have a witness who is able to clear Mr. Blonsky of any wrongdoing on his part. Then we'll start with that then. Well, uh, yes, the, the witness is prepared to give a statement after Mr. Blonsky gives his. I feel great remorse, great shame to those that I've harmed. So to answer your question, yes, I feel I have been rehabilitated. I've spent every day of my incarceration focused solely on redemption. I have changed emotionally, physically, Metaphysically, spiritually, karmically, cosmically, interdimensionally. All oh, right. <laughs> what Mr. Bla Blair, Ruth, Marta, Sheila, Alejandra, Ivana, and Nicolette are my soulmates. We met through the Prison Pen Pal program. They are my better eights. <laughs> Bro. 
Love you. What is happening? I don't think we need to get into that any further. Any other questions? <laughs> I know, there's a whole lot of questions. He saved you from a bad marriage. That's it, Carl. Let it flow. Now the library is more than just a quiet <laughs> place to ship. I release you, Linda. Proud of you, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Runa is the daughter of an elfin diplomat on Asgard and now in new Asgard. Did you know about this? As such, she has diplomatic immunity. She may have diplomatic immunity in new Asgard, but we are not in new Asgard. Excuse me, your honor, but Asgard is not a place. It is a people. Therefore, I Thor's have... inspirational speeches are not admissible. <laughs> your honor, this case you is dry. very cut and dry. Crush that. And when this is over, I'm canceling my Hollywood hookup subscription. There's clearly no better. <laughs> In light of some new information I've just received, I'm changing my ruling. <laughs> oh, come on, Runa. This is getting a little broad. Impersonating a judge is illegal. Get down from there. <laughs> this is very good for us. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Shorty really just went up there and tried to impersonate a judge. <laughs> How would you impersonate a judge, bro? You just made your situation worse. <laughs> bro, let me stop. Let's go. I gave him no choice. But it was absolutely his choice to return. I offered him asylum at Kamataj, which is truly lovely this time of the year. But he was quite adamant he'd be returned to serve out his sentence and repay his debt to society. Excuse me? If I could just put your minds at ease. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely not. Hang on a sec. No, no, no. What? Emil. Emil. No. It's fine. Jen. Please. Oh, he's about to turn. Oh, he's about to turn. Force is not necessary. As you can see, I'm in full control. That's enough! Change back now! Damn it! Yeah. Oh, it's fine, it's fine! It's totally fine! Emil! Oh, calm down. Okay, everybody calm down. This proves that in every instance, Mr. Blonsky could have broken free, but has chosen to remain in his cell. Good save! Stellar prison. That was a good save, because child. <laughs> and as for Mr. Wong, just Wong. The Sorcerer Supreme, Master of the Mystic Arts, Bro. leader and former librarian of Kamataj. Yeah. You realize that you've just admitted to facilitating a prisoner escape, which is a crime. I must depart. <laughs> How would you characterize Mr. Bukowski in relation to his romantic life? Self-absorbed, chauvinistic, conceited. He once described himself as a New York 10 and an LA 11. <laughs> he nicknamed his office. In your opinion, Miss Walters, do you think that Dennis Bukowski would believe that he could actually pull Megan the stallion? Yes. Dennis Bukowski is an almost pathologically entitled man. He would absolutely believe that he's dating the real Megan Thee Stallion because he is truly that delusional. No further questions, Your Honor. <laughs> That's right. There's only one Megan Thee Stallion. Ah. Hey, do you guys think I have a shot with the real Megan Thee Stallion? Should I go back? No, no, please don't do that. Thanks for that. Go back. After reviewing his record, we hereby grant Mr. Blonsky's release on parole effective immediately. Yes. As a condition of his parole, Mr. Blonsky. Yeah, my name's Jennifer Walters, not She Hulk, and uh, my client's name is Emil Blonsky, not the abomination. Got it. <laughs> 
the high profile nature <laughs> of this case and the fact yeah. that you need yourself Got on it. Hulk, we have to take a break. When we come back, She-Hulk shares her diet and exercise secrets. I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> you guys rob an Asgardian construction worker? Yeah. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Sorry. Not sorry. Ah! Okay, bad idea, bad idea. Yeah, very bad idea. Well, as I admit, that did not go exactly as I imagined it. Thunderbolt. Duh! Hi! There's my new favorite client. Just, just your signature there. And then just initial. Boom, boom, boom. Good. And initials up here. Ooh. He almost tasted that. No, 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 eat it up. Go play a three to one. You know how to shoot ain't never gonna eat me. Oh, you're way more fun than my last lawyer. I will kill for you, Megan Thee Stallion. Dial it back. Right. Ah! Alright, let's stop.